With eight years, 13 seasons, over half a dozen spin-off shows, Street Outlaws is one of the biggest, long-running shows on the Discovery Network. While the show has been made about drag racing, it has evolved so much since the early days with new faces and patterns. However, true fans of the show can't simply just forget these old faces, as well as because some of them are legendary street racers like Wayne Harley. Who is Wayne Harley? Wayne Harley is a cast member of the Street Outlaws, appearing in episodes dated around 2014 to 2015. Harley's bio states his love for cars started simultaneously with his passion for Ford, which he had begun working at since very young age of 12 years when he was in Yorkshire. At 16 years old, he would move to the U.S. and get a job at McDonald's to save up enough to buy his first car. Harley's life mission was not just solely dedicated to his cars too, since he has nine children, eight of whom he adopted. He has worked hard every day of his life to not just make money for his racing hobby, but to provide for all of his many kids. He would soon get notoriety for as one of the best racers of the Oklahoma City street racing scene after he started racing seriously with his 1980 Ford Fox Buddy Mustang. Yes, it is the same 80 Mustang that his fans will recognize as a gold scar from the show that currently continues to be a menace on the street, but not with Wayne, but his son Tony in the back of the wheel. Farley sadly he decided to hang up the coat with his racing career given his age and instead become his son's coach. Wayne D. Varley is famous for his love for Ford, which is so strong that the gold car still drives with a Ford engine, unlike many other racers who opt to use Chevy and other car engines for better output. Farley is thus known as a purist, but has to keep upgrading his car to keep up with other racers. What happened to Wayne Varley? Health updates. Wayne Varley is just one of those people who don't really like to live in the public eye. After his exit from the show, both he and his son, Tony, have his return to the limelight. We did get a very alarming update about Farley a couple of years back. A Reddit user posted a Facebook post for October 23, 2019, which suggested that Farley was taken ill. The name of whoever had posted that information was scribbled out, but the post read, I don't know how many of you guys remember Wayne Farley from Street Outlaws, but I seen his son this morning at the gas station. He said Mr. Varley's not doing well and is in the hospital. The post continued. It was very concerning for us to hear such news, especially since we couldn't find any other information ourselves about Varley being hospitalized anywhere online. The man who wrote the post requested for everybody to send their prayers to him. The non-identified man also shared a wholesome story about why he cared for Wayne so much. He recalled how Farley once helped him when he was having trouble with his car, a GTO at his shop, and then ended up not charging him any money for the repair. That little act of kindness stuck with the man as he continued to write, Mr. Varley is one of the old legends and has been racing cars for years. My hat's off to you, buddy. The ready post was instantly reacted to with prayers and well wishes as well. Fortunately, it seems like the prayers and the good wishes worked. Farley has a Facebook account and so does his gold car. Both accounts periodically post pictures, and a lot of them include Farley. He even shares pictures with his friends, families, and fans from time to time. So Farley looked fine in a post most recent from early 2021, which means that he has recovered fully and is back in action.